Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Cruise. Today I will be talking about the all new Dragon Predator and I'd like to say a special thanks to eMove Bikes for giving me the scooter for reviewing. Talking about the specs on this scooter, they are incredible. It has 1100 watt motors, two 30 amp hour Sunwave controllers, it has a 25 amp hour battery, it is a thumb throttle, which I'm honestly not used to because I've been using trigger throttle for quite a while. It's got a very nice display. I can definitely say it's a bit better than the Makuta 10 Plus, as you can see it a bit more, and it has a bit more display options. Like it says your speed average, your max speed, your distance, your trip, and how fast you're going and in what mode you're in. Let's talk about the tires. These tires are 10 inch tubeless tires. They are very safe as if you get a puncture, they are tubeless. So they stay inflated even if you get a small puncture in them. With this scooter, it comes with a motorcycle horn, which is quite loud and it definitely makes sure if you're driving on the road or on paths that people can hear you and even cars. This scooter comes with dual charging ports you get an option to dual charge it and I do not recommend it because it can stress out the battery and you may even lose some cells in the battery performance. The range of this scooter is around 80 kilometers and the top speed is around 75 kilometers which is pretty fast for a scooter like this. Something I want to say that I like is the light. The light is incredible. This light is a lot better than the Makuta 10 Plus. As on the Makuta, the light is a circle and it goes straight into people's eyes. With this design, they manage to get a cut off piece exactly where people's eyes are and when they're walking normally on paths, they don't get beamed by the lights on the scooter, which I really like. Okay, let's talk about the suspension. It is good, but it's not as good as the Makuta 10 Plus. The Makuta 10 Plus has very nice squishy suspension. This scooter is more for heavier people, as me personally riding this scooter, it feels extremely stiff and it's not as fun riding on off-road, as every time I hit a bump, I feel like I just hit an earthquake. Something I really like about the Dragon Predator as well is the folding system. It is very strong and the stem is very strong as well. It has a clamp that releases, you lift the metal piece up and it instantly goes down. This is very nice and it's very easy to fold down and it's very strong. I also like the handlebar on this scooter. It is very strong as it doesn't have any twisting to fold down but I can say that is a negative as well, if you're more into compact scooters and folding it into the car, you can't fold down these handlebars so stick out in full dimension. Something I want to say is the deck. It is very nice and wide and it is long but it really matters of how your footing is on a deck on a scooter. Me personally, I got used to the deck in around two hours, but some people may not like it as the foot rest at the back isn't very ergonomical as it is quite steep on an angle. You can't really see it on the camera, but in person, it's very steep. And if you try and place your foot somewhere, you're going to keep moving your foot as you can't really find a comfortable position. So I would always recommend going to a dealer and testing out the scooter to see if you would like the scooter or not. Something I love about the scooter are the lights. They look so cool. 
but I can say I hope I don't get in trouble because of law enforcement as I have realized that the lines are blue and once you turn on the indicators they are red so it looks like sirens I just hope I don't get pulled over <laughs> And as always, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and learning something new about the Dragon Predator. I would like to say a special thank you to Emove Bikes for giving me the scooter to review. And I can say a small sneak peek that there's something big and exciting coming in the next few weeks. I hope to see you soon and ride safe and keep exploring.